It's part three to how to join the elite. And in this video, I want to talk about something that's pretty simple, that's pretty straightforward. And that's something that all of you have probably been told to do, but have ignored for the longest time. And that is how to improve or just simply reduce your expenses. And I'll go into the video a bit later on how you can do that. But as far as one of the ways in which a lot of men in general fall short on being elite is that they don't have the money. They don't have the bread. And I'm not just talking about the bread needing to floss or to spend it on lavish things. And one of the things I want to say about this is that as far as spending money on lavish things and um, expensive houses or penthouse condos, that is something that I highly suggest you do not do. I'm highly against living above your means. And that it's one of the things in which I know it sounds contradictory to being an elite man joining the elite. You know, like you're seeing the elite having all these lavish things and all these um, expensive um, luxury items. Like, uh, what's that show called? It's a show back in the 80s. Um, uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Now, when people think of elite, they think of people who are from lifestyles of the rich and famous of that show. Quite frankly, a lot of people who live that life are living a lie. And as time went on, especially in the past 10 years, I'd say, a lot of those people were exposed. Now, there are some people who were legitimately rich, as in billionaires, and frugal millionaires who were able to put on some sort of appearance of an elite lifestyle. But here's the key word. That if all of you didn't miss it, all of you didn't um, notice, billionaires who live like millionaires, they're still going to save money. They're still going to, they're, they're still living frugally considering the fact that they're billionaires. I mean, look at Bill Gates, for example. I mean, the guy is definitely a billionaire, one of the one of the richest people in the world, and he lives, I don't think he lives like a millionaire. He lives like, the dude, from what I've seen, lives like a six-figure kind of guy. I mean, he has this frumpy hairstyle and um, borderline hipster clothes. I'm not sure if he lives in a mansion or not, but at the very least, he probably lives in a place that's a million dollars or a few million dollars in the Seattle area. The point is this, do not go and spend on crap you don't need, for starters, there you go. You all know what you want and what you need. And it's up to you to honestly separate those things in your mind between the things that you need and the things that you want. And the things that you want, in many cases, consist of that extra brand name t-shirt or those that extra pair of nice shoes. And this, and this is considering or taking into account that you already have a, a nice pair of shoes or, or a few nice pairs of shoes or clothing. You, you, but you just have to have that one more, that item, that, that newest item. You don't need it. And when it comes to impressing women, which is a lot of what my focus on how to join the elite is about, in this day and age, as long as you look presentable, you don't have to have the newest style in order to get the hottest chicks. And if a girl dogs you out over not having the latest style, then that's actually a good thing because you will, you will know that she is an absolute gold digger. She is an absolute status whore. And, and those are quite frankly the women you want to stay away from. Also, another thing that a lot of you guys tend to fall into the pit over are cars. <sighs> Do not, under any circumstances, buy new cars. Don't. 
I don't care if they're giving away a five-year dis a five-year interest-free all this other kind of stuff. No, trust me, do not buy the cars. Do not buy the new cars anyway. If you need the newest car, buy a car that's a year or two late. Especially if it's been driven. Cars lose up to 20% of the value once they roll off the lot. And that right there is a savings that you can take advantage of. So, this is 2017. It, there's nothing wrong with having the 2016 or 15 model car. Speaking of cars, there's no need for you to have an expensive luxury automobile. Unless it's truly for yourself. And that's if you can afford to pay for it out of pocket. And I'm not saying to use this to impress hoes or press chicks. No, this is just for yourself. And even then, I still stick to the um, rule of buying last year's model or if you buy this year's model, that it's a used version of this year's model that's been driven up a lot. And some sucker who ended up um, having it towed away from him that um, of that car you purchased from. But... Also, homes. A lot of people say it's a waste of time to rent. The only um, worthwhile purchase is real estate or a house. And in today's age, or a condo. And for starters, don't buy condos. Don't. As far as houses are concerned, you paying the mortgage is not the end-all be-all of your expenses. Starters, even if you plan to stay in that place for the rest of your life, you're still going to have to pay property tax, you're still going to have to pay maintenance fees, you're gonna, still going to have to pay um, unexpected fees that may come up, like the pipe that bursts on Christmas Eve, which always seems to happen at the most inopportune time, which is why I'm using Christmas Eve as an example. Um, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, you, you'll, you will know. What home you haven't, you can't say you're a homeowner without having some BS happen to your house at the most inconvenient moment. And even if your house, actually, especially if your house is new, you're gonna have to maintain the house because a lot of houses these days are not built with the best quality. You have to pay contractors, you're gonna have to um, pay for maintenance, you're gonna have to pay for um, adjusting and updating your house. As you see fit, there's a lot of expenses in having a home. Trust me. So, rent until you find a place where you can truly um, state that you'll live in for the rest of your life. Then I suggest buying there. And even then, if you're not making a decent amount of money, don't go into getting a mortgage. Don't. And especially, especially don't do this. Do not get a house for investment. Now, if you want to get a house, an extra house for renting out to people, okay, that, that's, that's a good strategy depending on how um, dedicated you are to being a landlord. But do, a house is not meant to be an investment. Do not let the last 10 to 20 years fool you. Uh, I mean, if you need any other lesson, if you need any other example, look at 2008. But for all of you who can avoid or have avoided huge expenses like houses, cars, so forth, a lot of you, a lot of us, I should say, money is a tool. And I think a lot of people don't realize that Money is a tool, one, to live your life just in case something happens or you get cut from your job, you lose your job in order for you to maintain your standard of living. And I do emphasize a lower than normal standard of living, meaning live below your means. It's not, there's nothing wrong with living below your means. But you also have to remember, well, and I'll go into examples actually, um, I'd say have a savings. Not, not necessarily a savings bond, but 
make sure you have a rainy day savings, an emergency savings of just in case something happens, so it's just in case you lose your job, just in case you have to go to the hospital. Alongside that, once you get your savings out of the way, you want to make sure you get your FU fund out of the way. The FU fund is specifically in order, um, to maintain yourself just in case you lose your job or just in case you feel the need to quit your job. And alongside that, the other reason why you want to have as much money as possible is this. Money, in the end, I won't say in the end, but yeah, in the end, is meant for you to enjoy your life. And that is not by tricking off on women who have not slept with you and probably will not sleep with you. If you want to trick off your money, if you insist, use it to trick off with people who you already know, who already like, love, and respect you, and who have proven themselves to be loyal to you. Now, if you want to take that money, the excess money, I'm not talking about if you're um, living paycheck to paycheck, but excess money, if you want to use the money to see an old friend, go on ahead. If you want to use that money to um, go to Vegas with the boys, go on ahead. And you want to use that money to just take a, um, a vacation around the world, go on ahead. Because ultimately, money is there. Or the reason why we work, I should say, is so we can enjoy our lives. Hence the term, work to live. So, there is a saving element to it. And I emphasize that for all of you, for a lot of you out there, quite frankly, um, saving should be the first thing you do. Then, look it into investing your money, whether it's through the stock market, mutual funds, um, 401k, IRAs, whatever, I'd say do your research into what you would consider the best investments for you. But once you get that money, once you get enough money that you can say you can live off of, at least for a due time until you get another job, just in case, that is when you use your money in order to enjoy yourself and enjoy your life. And that's to enjoy the life of the people who have proven themselves, proven themselves to you. The dudes who have stood by you. The women who have already to you. And ultimately, it's for you to live. It's just a small synopsis on money, essentially. What not to spend, what to spend it on, and how to spend it. Just enough of spending your money and, and useless ventures like the club, like Jordans, like um, whatever, brand name jeans, or cars, houses that won't matter in the next five years. Your money is for you to live. A lot of you, it's to survive because savings in this country is at an all-time low. And for all of you who have been able to save, it's to live. Don't be afraid to enjoy yourself sometimes. For everyone else out there, always bet on X.